Hello and welcome to another session of Java Today. Today's session is about Java Swing and Ability. This is MVC GUI framework for Java. Swing is a GUI widget toolkit for Java. It is part of Oracle's Java Foundation classes, that is JFC. An API for providing graphical user interface for Java programs. It is possible to specify different look and feel through the pluggable look and feel system of Swing. Swing is more sophisticated set of GUI components than the earlier AWT, that is abstract window toolkit. Swing provides a native look and feel that emulates look and feel of several platforms and also supports pluggable look and feel that allows applications to have look and feel unrelated to the underlying platform. It has more powerful and flexible components than AWT. In addition to familiar components such as buttons, checkboxes and labels, Swing provides several advanced components such as tabbed panel, scroll panes, trees, tables and lists. Unlike AWT components, Swing components are not implemented by platform specific code. Instead, they are written entirely in Java and therefore are platform independent. JavaFX. This will replace Swing and Swing will still remain the part of Java SE specification. Let us take a Java Swing demo. The first import includes all the public classes and interfaces that are from JavaX.Swing package. The Swing demo class extends the JFrame class. The JFrame class implements a window with the title bar and close control. This swing demo constructor initializes the frame by first calling the superclass constructor, passing the windows title parameter. It then calls the set default close operation method inherited from the JFrame. To set the default operation when the close control on the title bar is selected to window constants dot exit on close. This causes the JFrame to be disposed when the frame is closed, which allows the JVM, Java Virtual Machine, to exit and the program to terminate. Next, a J label is created with a string and add component. And the add component method inherited from the container superclass is called to add the label to the frame. The pack method inherited from window superclass is called to size the window and lay out its contents. The main method is called by the Java Virtual Machine when the program starts. It instantiates a new Swing demo frame, causes it to be displayed by calling the setVisible method that is inherited from the component superclass with the boolean parameter true. Once the frame is displayed, exiting the main method doesn't cause the program to terminate because AWT event dispatching thread remains active until all of the Swing top level windows have been disposed. Let's take Java Swing demo. The code here is copy pasted into a notepad plus we are importing javax.swing.star package. Let us save this file as Java Swing demo 1. Java this new instance is also going to be new swing demo one. Okay, let us save this again and uh, let's compile this. This swing demo one is compiled and let us run it. Yes, you see the output here. This is the title, Hello Super World, and the message and the label that what we passed on. So if I close this with Control C, then that exits. 
Java Swing History In 1996, graphics library for Java is the Internet Foundation Classes, that is IFC, originally developed and released by Netscape Communications Corporation. In 1997, Sun Microsystems and Netscape Communications announced their intention to incorporate IFC with other technologies to form Java Foundation Classes, JFC. The Java Foundation classes were later renamed Swing. Swing introduced support for pluggable look and feel and it allows Swing components to emulate the appearance of native components while still retaining the benefits of platform independence. Let us take another Java Swing demo. So let us save this as a Swing demo too. Okay, let's compile this. It is compiled and we have the class file here. So let us run it. You see this is the output that we got. This is the title which we passed onto the JFrame instance. This is the label which we have added with J label and uh, this is the button J button. Let us close this with Control C and it exits. This is the same example uh, as that we have seen in the demo one with minor tweakings. It imported AWT and Swing components. We can have javax.swing.star. Uh, otherwise, we can have individual packages mentioned like this JButton, JFrame, JLabel, and Swing Utilities. Okay, we can even check that. I'm going to comment this imports let us keep awt and swing this we will this is java awt dot star it will import all the classes under awt and this is javax.swing.star so this will import all the javax.swing. classes okay let us compile this yeah it's compiled and let us run this you see the output here so it worked okay so let us close this with control c it closes the swing app as well java swing architecture mvc model view controller gui framework for java which follows a single threaded programming model additionally this framework provides a layer of abstraction between the code structure and the graphic presentation of swing based GUI. The swing library makes use of MVC software design pattern, which conceptually decouples the data being viewed from the user interface controls through which it is being viewed. The J table has a model called table model that describes an interface for how a table would access the tabular data. A default implementation of this operates on a two-dimensional array. Let us take another swing demo. In this example, javax.swing.jframe be super class and add our own widgets to it. 
in this j button the layout is set to null using the container dot set layout method since j frame uses java dot awt dot border layout as its default layout manager with border layout anything which is added to the container is placed in the center and stretched to accommodate any other widgets most real world gui applications would prefer to use a layout manager instead of placing everything on absolute coordinates here we have awt versus swing swing is a platform independent because it is completely written in java extensible swing is modular based architecture allows for plugging of various custom implementations of specified framework interfaces swing is a component based framework whose components are derived from javax.swing.z component class swing objects asynchronously fire events have bound properties and respond to documented set of methods specific to the component swing components are java beans components compliant with the java beans components architecture specifications configurable swings is highly configurable allows it to respond to runtime to fundamental changes in its settings lightweight user interface swings high level flexibility is reflected in its inherent ability to override the native host operating systems gui controls for displaying itself swing paints its controls using the java 2d apis rather than calling the native user interface toolkit ever swing component relies on awt container as swings j component extends awt's container ever swing component paints its rendition on the graphic device in response to call to component dot paint which is defined in the awt container but unlike awt components which delegated the painting to their os native heavyweight widget which delegated the painting to their os native heavyweight widget swing components are responsible for their own rendering making it lightweight abstract window toolkit awt has provided a platform independent apis for user interface components in awt each component is rendered and controlled by a native peer component specific to the underlying windowing system by contrast swing components are lightweight as they do not require allocation of native resources in the operating system's windowing toolkit the core rendering functionality used in the swing to draw its lightweight components is provided by java 2d another part of jfc stability standard widget toolkit is a competing toolkit originally developed by IBM and now it's being maintained by Eclipse community. SWT's implementation has more in common with the heavyweight components of AWT. In another session, we are going to cover JavaFX. Thanks for watching.